Eric, hope everyone. There is a park here in Israel uh, in the Modi'in uh, area called uh, Naot Kedumim. It's a beautiful park. One of the exhibits that it had in the park, when I visited a number of years ago, I think they still have it going, is that they have every type of sukkah that's mentioned in the Talmud. A sukkah that uses an animal for a wall, a sukkah that... Uh, 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 one of the sukkah that they have is everything is open. There's no, there's no, there's no sukkah there. So uh, I remember uh, that I mentioned to the guide, I said, you know, that is a halachic sukkah. That's a sukkah LP halacha. So he said, what do you mean? I said, it's all because of ideas that Chazal said in Meseches Erevin that apply to Hilchot Sukkah. Therefore, you have a structure that's uh, practically not there, but it's a kosher sukkah. So there are a few examples. One is uh, by a sukkah and by an Eruv, we say good achit. The wall doesn't go to the floor. If, however, it comes within three uh, tvochim, which is approximately uh, nine inches, if it comes within that space to the ground, the halacha views it as though it's touching the ground. There is also something called good asik, that the wall goes up. It doesn't reach the level of the schach. There's a gap between where the uh, schach is on top and where the wall reaches. But there also, if it's within the uh, area of Gimel Tvachim, it's nine inches or less away from the Tzachah. So then in Halacha, we see that it touches the Tzachah. That's the, the Koach of Halacha is that it is not always bound by reality or what we think is reality. It's a mysterious world, and this is part of the mystery. So there's another uh, halacha. A sukkah does not have to have four walls. In halacha, it has to have two legitimate walls that join with each other. And the third wall, it's enough if it's a tefah. Again, enough if it's just a few inches. And the rest is open space. There's no fourth wall. And the majority of the third wall is all open. But it's considered to have four walls. It's considered to be an enclosure. There's another halacha that we have called lovud. You have uh, 
this was a, an example I remember I had in Miami Beach. It's very hot there, Sukkot. I mean, and it's very humid. You invite people to come to you for sukkahs when you, you the first thing you do is give them a towel. <laughs> Difficult to uh, to sit for a long period of time because uh, it's just very hot. Now that people have become wealthier and uh, you know, there are many sukkahs that are air conditioned in the Miami area. But anyway, so people had what they called the Florida room, which is a screened in porch, a, a screened in patio. So the Shiloh arose, can you use the, the screens as walls for the sukkah? In other words, can the Florida room automatically become a sukkah? You just have to put schach on top. And you have the walls, you have the, everything set up. Even though it's porous, I mean, the whole idea is that it's open. So I remember that uh, I discussed this shyly with a number of uh, uh, major uh, post etc. And they all came to the conclusion that that's lovehood. Lovehood is that if you're close enough, the solid part that's close enough, so here are the wires, are close to each other, even though it's space between them. So it's as though there is a wall there. And therefore the screened in uh, patio uh, border room uh, could be used as a sukkah if people so desire. And love would applies also, just as I mentioned by Gurachas and Gurasik, it applies being attached to the ground, but it applies to the walls being connected. If the walls are within the space, three tvachim here and three tvachim there, so we say love them, they're connected. Then there's a major uh, uh, <coughs> Indian regarding a sukkah. Many times people have a, 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 the wall of the sukkah is, let's say, the wall of a house. But the wall of a house has a, uh, a roof uh, built in over it, you know, whether it be for gutters or for, or for decoration or for whatever it is. So that really that wall is pretty far away from the sukkah because of the fact that you have this on top and there's no schach there. The schach is only over the open space. Can that wall be used? So that is the halacha of Dauphin Akuma. Dauphin Akuma is that there are two ways the Rishonim learn it. One way is they see the schach bends to meet the wall. And the other is that the wall bends to meet the schach. But that somehow the schach, if, and here the shear is a big shear, it's Dalit Amos. Really a big shear. If it's within that, then that wall of the house can be used as a wall of the sukkah. So you have here a halachic sukkah. And the same thing about the schach, right? The, uh, how much schach do you put on? So here there's no shortage of schach. But there are places where it was not that way. And therefore there are gaps. How big is the gap? So again, the Dean of Love would, would apply. The only thing by Dolphin Akuma is you can't sit under that solid part. You have to sit under the schach, but the wall counts for the sukkah itself. 
So you have here these different halachic principles. Again, most of them apply to the construction of an Eruv, which is also an imaginary structure. You got two poles and a wire. We say that's a wall. So there are places in the world, walled cities, where the wall is a wall. But most of the movie that we have today are really, uh, we were relying on the electric company or relying on the telephone company. We were relying on their wires. We put up a lefty to show that it's part of the air, but we're relying. So in practical terms, it's open. And that's always a problem that people discuss with hay ribbon. And uh, the Gemara says that a ribbon, Shlomo Melech was Masak in a ribbon. He made the Takona that Jewish cities should have an a ribbon. And the Gemara says there were no, there was no greater joy in the Jewish field, people. There was no greater Takona for the uh, welfare of the Jewish people and Shabbat and everything than Shlomo Melech's Takona to make Erevin. Unfortunately, throughout the centuries, Erevin is always a sore point because there are many, many different opinions and there are many places that don't have an Erevin uh, on purpose. Here in Israel, the Rabbanut has Erevin everywhere. And in America, pretty much every Jewish community today also has a room. And it became a whole thing because you want to bring the children and the carriage and you don't want the women to be prisoners at home and all sorts of social issues which don't appear in the Sechus But all of these constructs are uh, halachic creations, they're not reality. Nobody builds an Erev out of bricks. And no one builds a sukkah that way. Well, there are people that make the full three walls and don't rely on any of these uh, uh, halakha principles that I have discussed. We have one other principle, though, that makes sometimes these things difficult, is that you cannot have a sukkah that uh, a goat can walk into it. It's a good thing they didn't say a cat. Because <laughs> here in Israel, every cat has a sukkah. <laughs> but a goat can't walk into it. So sometimes uh, that conflicts with the ideas and constructs that we discuss about the wall going down to the floor, etc. The goat can come underneath it, etc. So all of these are discussed, and uh, uh, the sukkahs that we have today uh, pretty much uh, don't rely on all of the kuas, but they certainly rely on some of them <laughs> in order that it should function. So it's a halachic, like everything else in Judaism. It's a halachic principle. It's a holiday of halacha. And by knowing the halacha and applying the halacha, so then we reaffirm our belief in Chazal. We reaffirm our belief in the Chachami. And uh, that is uh, really uh, the greatness of our tradition. And that what allows us to go forth and have a very happy and wonderful Sukkot. Rabbi Hanani ibn Akashi Omer, what's our Kodesh Baruch Hu, is our Kodesh Yisrael, the Fir Chalkir Belayim Torah, Mitzvot Shenemar, and I know the place of my Sukkot, the Fir Chalkir Belayim Torah.